In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the Alex problem called calculating standard reaction free energy from standard free energies of formation. So to solve this problem, you are going to be using, as it says, the information in the Alex data tab, which is this little bar graph over here on the side. You might notice I have way more icons than normal over here. That's just because of the function that I'm using Alex in right now. You probably don't have this many circles on yours. So we're going to open up this Alex data tab. And what we want to do is look for thermodynamic properties. So open that one up. And in this data table, we have all of our delta G values that are in the center column of numbers, the delta G values. To solve this problem, we'll be using Hess's law. So we're just going to take that chemical reaction and we're going to go products minus reactants, each one multiplied by their stoichiometric coefficients. So that means we're going to be starting with the H2O. H2O could either be listed with the hydrogen or with the oxygen, so we need to check both of them. Um, there is our H2O. Remember, our delta G value is the center column of numbers. We want to make sure we get the correct state, H2O gas. So I'm moving it up to the top right there. It's negative 228.6. And we need to multiply it by 2 because that's the stoichiometric coefficient of H2O in the equation. So I'm going to get my Alex calculator up and I'm going to go 2 times negative 228.6. Six. And that's the delta H value of my product. And then, or excuse me, delta G value of my product. And then from that, we're going to subtract the delta G values for both of our reactants, oxygen and hydrogen gas. I've got oxygen right here, so let's just take a look at that. It's zero. We don't really need to do anything numerically. I'll go ahead and hit the minus zero just so that we have that complete. And the other thing that we want to do here is subtract the, the delta G value for H2 gas, which is hydrogen, H2 gas, which is also zero. Two times zero is zero. Um, so this gives us a delta S value of negative 457.2. Alex wants this to zero decimal places. Um, negative 457, and it already has the units in place for us.